Hi, today I'm going to show you how to connect Power BI with Project Online and SharePoint Online. So I have here a blank, a new blank uh, report from Power BI. And then the first thing that we need is to get the URL from the Power, uh, from the Project Online environment that we want to connect. So we have this URL. I'm just going to copy this. That's all we need. And then we go to get data from old data feed because that's the available source, uh, available connection that we can, can do um, uh, with Project Online. So I'm gonna just paste this here and that's this is all we need from the, the URL. And we should add also the underlying API slash project data. Then when we hit OK, um, we're going to see all the, the data sets available for us to load and get to our report. So it all depends on what, uh, what is the information that we need on the specific report that we are uh, developing. Uh, we get the certain amount of tables because uh, if we get all of them, it's going to be very very uh, heavy and very, uh, you know, uh, time, uh, long time processing. So let's see, for just demonstration, I'll get simple, like the basic um, tables, which is like tasks. If I if I use uh, a curve as, if I build a, t a curve as, for an example, I'll need the time set as well, just for you to know. Uh, I'll also need risks for this one, projects, uh, project baseline, so I can see also uh, time sheets, uh, resources, uh, prioritizations, if we do uh, portfolio analysis uh, within Project Online, we can have issues as well, deliverables and assignments, all of that we have here. So this is all I need. Um, we could also transform data if, uh, if we would be uh, having a source like an, an Excel sheet or something that you want to transform before we load. Uh, so it's the right time to transform, but this it's not the, the, the thing here because uh, we cannot do that, right? This, uh, it comes from the project online, so we cannot change anything like from the, the structure, uh, not at this point. So I'm just going to load. And then at this time, Project Online will be uh, importing all the data that we already have registered on Project Online uh, with all the tables. And it will also um, automatically uh, uh, relate uh, one table to the other as it, it thinks it is, you know, so it will get like the, the, the key from each table um, to connect with, with the other tables. So we're gonna wait until it's doing the relationships. Okay, so here we are. Um, here, so we he, we see here our tables, the the ones that we've selected, and we can see them here. Uh, see also the um, its uh, contents, right, and the fields. Okay, we can open them as we want, and the relationships are uh, done here on the model and data model. So we can see, check if it's right, if it's okay. We can uh, uh, do uh, make it different if we think it's it's different. But you you, you see, it's okay. If I click twice, I will see what is the relationship that is doing. So it is fine. Uh, okay, so now we imported uh, from Project Online. Now we're gonna do uh, from a SharePoint Online, which is we're gonna use a SharePoint list that we have on this environment. So I'm just gonna show you right there. I have my, uh, on my site contents, I can see I have a list of proposals, right? So I'm gonna get data old data feed as well. And I'm also going to use the, the same URL that ends here. And to speed up the process, I have this already here. So I'm just going to well, copy this and paste it here. 
All right, so here I'm just going to write proposals. And if you have like space or um, uh, a kind of, uh, if you just have to write the, the way it is uh, on Project Online, right? On SharePoint Online in this case. So I'm going to import the list and it will come with all the fields, the native fields, the customized fields, and also we can see the content. So I see that uh, it makes sense. It's the right list that I want to import, and I'm gonna load. So as soon as as soon as uh, as it loads, uh, it will load with a different name, so we can rename it. It's detecting uh, relationships as well, as you could see. So I can change its name right uh, here. Just, just right there, so I have the right name, and I can see the relationships right there. So this way I can just make the relationship and just look for the other one here. The field that I want to make a relationship with. Uh, so just gonna drag and like kind of drag and drop. Just uh, it will understand I want to make a relationship. So I just connected the table from uh, SharePoint Online with Project Online, and that is it. We have a time set to begin and start developing our report. Uh, that is it. Um, see you in the next video.